They're taonga or treasure to Māori. Others think they're simply revolting. But at Mahurangi Technical Institute in Walkworth, staff take a different view. Why do you think uh, New Zealand is so grossed out by air? I think it's, I, I refer to it as Adam and Eve syndrome. I think because there are no snakes that uh, Kiwi psychic blame, sort of looks at eels as a snake. And I can't believe how many people come in and all go, oh, yuck, oh. oh. Kiwi are eating more eel meat than ever before through Japanese food. But the eyes of the local industry are trained on the $3 billion international market. Problem is, juvenile eels have a mysterious life cycle. They're sourced from the wild, are in hot demand, in short, hard to come by. And past efforts to commercially breed the species have failed. Uh, it was 40 years ago the Europeans uh, hatched half a dozen eels in a test tube and haven't been able to um, do it again. We always felt that we could cr uh, crack the um, hatching in a test tube, test tube, but could we actually do it commercially? And that's what we've achieved after, after five years of a uh, bit of hard work. The, uh, we have commercial quantities of eels now uh, hatching at our will, and I'm talking several hundred thousand a time. The hatchlings come from an unromantic process of mixing sperm and eggs, but it's the next step of incubating the hatchling to a juvenile or glass eel that's the big challenge. While it doesn't look like much right now, in five months' time, millions of fertilised eel eggs will be bought in here to be incubated. It's the first of this kind of operation anywhere in the world, and it's a vital step in creating a multi-million dollar industry. We've already been approached by Japanese, uh, South African, Dutch and Australians and, and that's without even telling anybody what we've done. It's a three million dollar spend, part government funded, over the next three years to produce glass eels. Uh, Elizabeth well, Gollum was trade commissioner to Japan, well, one of the world's largest eel them. markets, and lived there for six years. Well, eel is eaten all year round if, if the Japanese can get it, but the peak time of eating, I understand, is at the end of July, early August, when people eat eel to store up energy for the very hot summer that is ahead. Is it more expensive than other types of meat? Yes, it can be, uh, and I understand there's quite a shortage, um, so that's obviously putting the prices up. I can foresee... Uh, hatcheries being built in China, Japan, all these country, other countries that already have a major eel Europe uh, industry going. I just want to see this happen. It's, it's the money's secondary. This, this is a project of love and devotion of a species and the commercialisation will be its saving grace. Commercialisation that will be in place in Walkworth, New Zealand, hopefully before uh, eel species become extinct in their favoured parts of the world. I think it's